Hey guys, Thunderset here bringing you an archetype that is newly introduced to Duel Links, and that's Orcust. So I'm assuming it's a wordplay on Orchestra that's actually spelt with an H-E, but it's Orcust. So they're like, uh, monster instruments? I don't know. But, uh, they're Dark Machines is the big point, so we're using them in combination with Desperado Barrel Dragon. And when you're having Desperado Barrel Dragon, you want to use Switcheroo, some Cosmic Cyclones, works out well to get him in your hand a little more consistently but let's get into this new orcust archetype play on words there so uh orcust heart pour what they all do essentially they want to be in your graveyard then you can banish them from your graveyard and special summon more orcust monsters from various places like the deck your hand or the graveyard this boy is the one who does it from your deck he's also a 1700 four star so he's the strongest one you banish him from your graveyard, special summon any Orcus monster from your deck, and the rest of the turn you can only special summon dark monsters. So that is a little important, we'll get to it in a moment. Now, other Orcus monsters you could special summon. We have Orcus symbol, skeleton. You can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon an Orcus monster from your graveyard, except himself. None of them can special summon themselves, so he special summons from the graveyard. It's level 3, they're all dark machines, like I said. Or cuss base bomb or sorry brass bombardment. You can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one or cuss monster from your hand. Now he's a level one tuner. Usually you're not gonna banish him from the graveyard because you'll usually have a normal summon to use. You don't usually have a handful of these monsters. So you usually have a normal summon, you don't need a special summon from your hand. But it just in case he can help you swarm the field and make some bigger synchros. Some of the synchros we're using now, remember, you can only special summon dark once you use their special summon. So we do have some not dark synchros in Old Entity Haster as a level 4, and our Mateys as a level 5, but those synchros will come a little slower because you can't do it the turn you special summon with a graveyard effect. But anyway, for those immediate graveyard effects synchros, we have Underworld, Fighter, Balmonk. He'll special summon a level 4 lower monster when he's destroyed by a card effect. And then we have Dark End Dragon, which is fantastic. He just requires uh, the non-tuner to be dark. Once returned, target a monster your opponent controls. Lose 500 attack and defense. And then remove that monster. Very strong. We have Red Eyes Zombie Necro. He'll gain 100 for each zombie on the field and lots of other zombie stuff. Sometimes you're running into zombies with Sheer Nui, so it's a nice little option. But Seven's one of the more uh, hard-to-get-out synchros, so you don't really use him too often. And then we have Archfiend's Claw, super, super strong. He becomes Summon Skull, cannot be targeted. Very cool stuff. But those are just the Synchros. Really, it's Desperado who's going to be winning you the game. Getting to him faster with Switcheroo. And there's one other little trick to get to him faster, guys. We have Orchestrated Return. Send one Orcus monster or World Legacy monster from your hand or face-up field to... That's really weird. From your hand or face-up field to the graveyard. Draw two cards. You can only activate... One orchestrated return per turn. So it sucks you can only use one per turn, but it's still a draw two for throwing a monster in your graveyard. And you want these monsters in your graveyard anyway to use their effects. So perfect synergy, tons of draw power, very, very nice. I don't know the lore, it looks pretty cool. They have like an android girl over here. Uh, doesn't look like instrument monsters, but yeah. Last but not least, we have orchestrated Inzat. I only have one copy of this spell. If your opponent normal summons or special summons a monster, you can take one or cuss or world legacy monster from your hand or deck and either send it to the graveyard or banish it. You can only use this effect once per turn. So it just helps get monsters in your graveyard if you're breaking a little because your opponent will always normal summon or special summon a monster. So you're pretty doing it pretty much every turn. But uh, yeah guys, it's a little consistent way to get to Desperado because of the draw power and the obvious uh, switcheroo. Your opponent doesn't really know what you're doing. It's a little unique synchro pool, so it's not bad. It's halfway decent. Still just Desperado. It'll have good effects against other decks, poor effects against other decks. You know how it goes. But I hope you enjoy the replays. This is a decent little archetype. I don't know what to look forward to in the future with it, but uh, it might get a little stronger. Who knows? So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying. Okay, here's Jade and Ubel. Going first. Opponents using Grit. We have a Desperado already in hand and draw power just because we want it. So you see the synergy here. We throw it to the graveyard for draw power. 
that's a plus two. That gets us a monster out, two Sphere Boys and a Desperado with that draw power, guys. Absolutely crazy. We have a Cosmic Cyclone. We're going to use that Cosmic Cyclone on this Neos Fusion that he searched with uh, just a uh, Keeper. He threw away a Bacon Saber. There you go. So with the Neos Fusion, he throws away Yellow Martin. You know what that means, guys. That's his Fusion. Luna Light Fusion. He swings into our monster with the Neos. That's the Desperado Barrel Dragon. Remember, the Neos Fusion is out of the graveyard, so I get to destroy both monsters outright with this Desperado. No, no problem, guys. We're going to switch a Rua Sphere Boy to get a, hopefully, a no cursed monster to get that draw power. And we do. Good old Switcheroo coming through. Bombardment says special summon from our hand, but we could have normal summoned anyway. Instant's not going to do anything for us immediately. Our opponent uses Bacon Saver just to stall us out, but we're still in a really good position. Even if he brings out any of the uh, Luna Light monsters, we're going to be able to destroy them with Desperado. So we have nothing to fear except for Three Tails. So he's got a Luna Light into his biggest boy, Saber Dancer, or biggest girl. And uh, that triggers Martin to search. Crimson Fox to move me to zero. We have a Sphere Boy to protect even if we do hit three tails somehow, some way. We swing, but guess what? Not three tails, it's three heads. Hit him right in the dome, draw a card for it, it was so good. It's another Desperado and another Sphere Crevo. Look at this draw power coming through. And we're still getting our Synchro Summons off. We Special Summon from the deck with our Harp and then use that to normal summon a Desperado Dragon. Are you kidding? Great stuff, guys. Okay, here's Blair Flanagan. Going first. We're going first, I should say. She has 30 cards. We've got draw power, even though we already have our Desperado. That's draw power, guys. We send the heart to the graveyard. That brings out a bombardment. We get a set. Very, very nice turn, guys. We even have more draw power to go. Let our opponent hit that grass in this band deck. We don't even care, guys. He's using Vengeance. On top of that, we're coming at him too quick though. He's gonna normal summon a Squire. That's gonna start off with Squire Saga. Now he's going to destroy me with Spirit Master, bring out my Desperado, and still try to swing. Very ballsy move for no real gain. So we destroy him and punish him for it. Now we have him for a nice easy lethal, but we're gonna flex that draw power just because. Two Cosmic Cyclones, another normal summon. That's a Synchro Summon of our old Entity Haster, nice and slow. We get a Special Summon of another boy. We could have uh, gone into an Armades next turn, stuff like that. But we still had a nice, easy, lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here we are fighting a Jack Atlas. Going second. He's using some Blue Eyes Kaiba stuff. We have two Desperados in our hand and a Brass Bombardment. We get our orchestrated insects. I don't know what that word means. We set our bombardment. Our opponent is Sylvans, so he's going to mill out with a Guardi Oak. He already set a carrot weight, sets another carrot weight, a Lotus Swain, and another Guardi Oak. They just return stuff to the deck. So no real plays. Now he uses a carrot weight to send a Rose Lover. He uses a Rose Lover to bring out a Martial Leaf. Swings with his big boy. That means the barrel dragon's coming out in defense because he's not afraid. We hit two heads. That's the oak. We leave the martial leaf. Top deck a harp. Use a harp from the grave. That special summons to level three. Normal summon the harp. That's lethal, guys. 1300 there, 1200 there, and we only need a 1500 left. Take them out just as quick. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here we are fighting a Carly Carmine. I do believe. This is Dark Lord's Fortune Ladies, which is going to be completely gutted thanks to the Excel nerf. Then it's just not the draw power for Fortune Ladies. So here we're going to start off with just setting a Skeleton since we already have a Desperado Barrel Dragon. Our opponent summons an Aston. Special summons uh, Amdusk. Swings right into our Skeleton to bring out a Desperado Barrel Dragon. I hit three heads all in a row. He uses Test to Protect so we don't get that draw. But that's okay, we're going to normal summon our skeleton because we're going to hit three heads in a row again. That's three instances of three heads in a row you've seen in just this video, guys. We draw into an uh, orchestrated return. That was going to be even more draw power. Just 
diving through a Dark Lord's guy is great, great stuff. Okay, here we are facing Blair. Going second. No extra deck for our opponent. What can that mean? Some pretty decent hand. You always want to see Desperado in your hand, but it's okay if we don't. We're going to Cosmic Cyclone that one. Use our switcheroo into another Cosmic Cyclone. We're just hitting back row removal, it would seem, though. We hit a Cosmic Cyclone and a Galaxy Cyclone. So we get a normal summon, our Heart Pour, hit a Nemesis Warrior. We have our Crusted Insets. So whenever he normal summons, we get a dump to the graveyard. We throw another Heart Pour to the graveyard. Now we use that Heart Pour's effect to special summon from our deck, the 1200 attack monster. Normal summon another. Kamikaze into the Nemesis, which is the special summon of a Desperado Barrel Dragon and some damage swinging over him. Now he's a sub terror with only two cards left, so that's really not good for him. We're gonna get a plus two look at that, guys. We didn't even need that card in our hand. We just used the return, get him off the field and draw two. Very nice. Then we can just hard pour, special summon our tuner right out. We could have level nine synchro, but uh, there's no dark level nine, or there might be a dark level nine synchro, but uh, not in this deck. Still great stuff. Pretty crazy, pretty fun little deck, guys. This archetype's not bad. Uh, draw power is always good. Special summoning from the graveyard is always good because there's other ways to get it to the graveyard. And then it supports Desperado, so what more can you really ask for? Getting it out with Switcheroo. Have some Synchro plays. Sphere Boys in our hand. What more can you want, guys? It's mad decent. Uh, like I said, it just falls prey to the inherent weaknesses of Desperado. But if you can get around that, it's a pretty good deck. It can steal you some wins and some win streaks, guys. So I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.